These are the Ubers that are actually banned from the Ubers tier, featuring BKC as always, and of course, PokeAim MD. Yeah, so Mega Rayquaza, uh, the way I see it, was Terrakion in black and white one. You give it to anybody, and they can win with it. That's you think that's a fair comparison, Kevin? You remember Terrakion in black and white? I think so. Give yeah, a choice ban, and it just Terrakion wins. in black and white one had no real answers. So no matter what you did with your team, mm -hmm. then when Terrakion came in and it would come in, then you were at significant risk of deletion. Not, that. Exactly. And not to mention that the obvious increase in stats, but also the fact that this mega Pokemon could hold items has, it, it's incredibly faster, right? Like it's faster than, it's faster than Rayquaza's best check, right? Lugia. Lugia would be like probably the, the number one Mon you could think that could deal with Rayquaza. This one's faster than that and obviously deals with it with plus two. Uh, it can take the hits and faster, right? But exactly. now, now it yeah. can't take the hits and it's slower. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Also, you have obviously your Delta Stream, so your, your ice type attack is two times instead of four times, which does make a difference when a Pokemon is based 105 HP and 100 defenses across the board. It gets bulkier uh, too, yeah, as if mm -hmm. all the rest isn't enough. Yeah, it basically has everything good about being a flying type and none of the downsides. And there are exactly. a lot of good things about being a flying type. Exactly. It would just be basically yeah and then the fact you can run focus sash lumberry to set up on thunder wave which there was a plethora of in the ubers tier it's hard to argue for this mon ever staying it had extreme speed for any choice mons that were faster and because of its delta stream ability it was almost impossible to knock out it was really hard to kill this mon from full with an attack like any super effective ice type attack, right? With Scarf Ogre and things like that. And then when it comes to Pokemon like Scarf Palkia and stuff, if it's plus two life orb with its 180 base of attack and Stealth Rock are up, you're killing it with E-Speed. So it's just really hard to get inverses. And especially in the metagame it was in, like Stab Flying was so good for this Pokemon, right? Dragon Ascent, 120 base power prior to Stab and having the option for Swords Dance and Dragon Dance. Like games would also just come down to speed ties with Rayquaza versus Rayquaza. I remember that a lot when playing the, the actual Ubers tier. This was probably the Mon that deserved and the most. Yeah, uh, not, yeah we didn't, didn't even mention, we didn't even mention Choice Ban. Like you can use oh, Choice Ban, nice. Dragon oh, Ascent, yeah. and V Create, which it had back yeah. then, right? Oh, yeah, v, v, v Create is well. 80, 180 base power move coming off of Rayquaza. So any Absolute, skill type yeah. trying to take it, Band was legitimately good. You just needed Dragon Ascent, V Create, Extreme Speed, and then your last move could be Earthquake if you wanted to. Like My there was favorite really... part about Rayquaza using V Create is that you can't even weaken it with Kyogre's Rain because it, it doesn't, the rain doesn't pop up because of Delta Stream. Exactly. This applies to regular Rayquaza too because it has airlock, but it's really funny. And it actually, V-Create is so strong, you can basically look at it as Rayquaza gaining Fire Stab. I think the one counter people found was like a Violite Porygon too. Uh, yeah, they were, yeah, yeah. They were like, what's the bulkiest thing we can throw at this? First of all, being forced to run a Violite Porygon 2 for it is ridiculous. Second of all, it's not even that good a check because no. it's so strong. And like, what are you even doing back to it? It's oh, I use Swords Dance and my Ice Beam doesn't even hurt it because it just bounces off and now I lose. <laughs> Literally, you either get two shot if it's banned or if it's Lum, yeah. what do you do? You Thunder Wave and you die to V-Create after. It was just it was just too much of a mon. Just to let it be known what exactly happened with Arceus, when Gen 4 was the current gen, then the simulator used, that was the form for the community who made the rules to play on, then that simulator could not implement Arceus correctly because Arceus in Gen 4 is released at level 100, and the only way you can give it EVs are through items like protein and calcium, and so you can only give it 100 EVs max in each stat. And Shoddy Battle, the program, couldn't implement that correctly. They they just never played with Arceus. And it was also released near the end of the generation. And then a few years later, we have a more advanced simulator now in Pokemon Showdown. And you can program Arceus with this 100 EV limit correctly. And enough of the player base said, and a lot of the older players were gone. So the newer players were like, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. And they played it for a year or so. And then Arceus was voted to be too much. It started out as it was called Farseus because it couldn't be programmed incorrectly, but it just wasn't part of the game by a sort of freak occurrence. And then it literally wound up getting the Mega Rayquaza treatment and getting banned. Before Mega Rayquaza in Gen 6, then banning something from Ubers was unthinkable. But you had clauses and stuff like sleep clause and such. 
but not actually banning Pokemon. But in Gen 4, Gen the time of this Arceus unban and then reban in Gen 4 was after Mega Rayquaza, because it kept getting played after the fact. I remember playing the Zacian Crown metagame, and I remember thinking, this is really dumb. And I also remember thinking, this should not be in the tier. And I cannot understand why it has lasted as long as it has, because it's so clearly absurd. You've got Steel Fairy, which is maybe the best typing in the game. Yeah. The plus one attack boost to a Pokemon that already has comical levels of attack and its speed, it's so fast. It's, it's so saying something when your metagame has Ditto in top 10 of it, like literally. Yeah, it's so bad. You're throwing like Quagsire and Tangrowth at it. But Quagsire had to always recover. And then even yeah. uh, and Zacian so, which sometimes is the ran Solar Blade. Switch ever for literally everything. Yeah. Yeah, I remember people were also using stuff like Assurance because it does double damage. So if rocks are up, then Quagsire actually gets destroyed. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was absolutely nuts. I was surprised that Zacian itself got banned. Not that it's that surprising, because it is still insanely fast and strong. Oh, that was the other thing, that it's so fast, it doesn't need to run anywhere near max speed. Yeah, you can for speed ties, but if you prefer to handle it in other ways, then you get to invest in its bulk more, and it's also insanely bulky with amazing typing. So even if you do manage to withstand its hits, which is already a kind of ridiculous proposition, then you can't even kill it back. It's so per FL. If it was this strong and this fast, I could at least understand if it wasn't, if it, you could hit it hard, but now you can. Like earthquakes like bounce off of it. Yeah. It's comical. Yeah, you also gotta remember the regular Zacian could run a choice ban, right? It could, oh, also, that's run, true, that's true, it could yeah. also run Swords Dance. It didn't have the initial, it didn't have the initial power of that Zacian, of, of Zacian Crown, right? 170 versus 130. But if I put a choice ban on there, plus I'm getting my Intrepid Sword every single time I switch in. And on and top of that being that's a Sword really, you know, The way it works is that choice ban raises your attack stat itself. It doesn't apply a plus one boost. So the plus one is going off of that boosted attack stat. It's not going from plus one to plus two. And that makes it way stronger. Strong, exactly. And, yeah, and Zacian has that exact thing when it's got an Intrepid Sword boost and a choice band boost. And then you have the one you really want to talk about, right? In Generation 9. Rewind a little bit to Gen 8 Ubers. What's the best Calyrex Shadow Rider answer? Eveltal, right? Mon's on 50, 60, 70, 80% of teams. It's I higher, think. right? Isn't it close to 100% usage? Almost, yeah. I remember in February, it was at 80%. I remember that That's much. But it, like, Eveltal's on basically, Eveltal's basically Primal Grotto. You need to have it on your team, otherwise you will lose. Otherwise Calyrex. you automatically lose. To, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It's and kind of funny because it's like the most extreme example, and these kinds of Pokemon that were completely helpless against dark type. They don't have so much as a hidden power bug or something. They are completely stonewalled by darks, but they are still insanely broken because even if the opponent does have a dark type, then it's, oh, it's just a matter of time until that thing dies and then I destroy literally everything else. I think what you're getting at is that in Gen 9, you have terrestrialization, and suddenly it's, oh, now they do have a way past dark types. Yep. And even then, because of both Eveltal and in this case also Ho-Oh, which was a decent check as well to Calyrex, we're both not in the tier. There's, you don't always have to run Terra, Fairy, Draining Kiss. Terra Fighting, Terra Blast, right? A lot of people would use Choice Specs and Choice Scarf, Terra Ghost because your Astro Barrage is insanely powerful. You're boosting it two times instead of 1.5 with a stab. You have your as one ability, which gives you, you know, Grimne and then a nerve. So you're having your plus one special attack every single time. It was just so, it was so easy to snowball with this Pokemon when you don't have the max Spadef that is a Veltal. And even then, like a Veltal would lose to it now, obviously as well, because of Terra. But even on top of that, you have substitute, you have substitute sets as well, if you really wanted them. But the biggest things were Choice Scarf, Choice Specs, people using Focus Sash, and then just Astro Barrage being spam. Like the set I liked the most was simply Astro Barrage, Trick, Psychic or Psy Shock, depending, and Nasty Plot. Because if I found an opportunity to be able to set up with it, I could win. You would put it with Focus Sash, you'd put it with your choice items, and just straight up, it was literally the most influential Pokemon, right? I, the kind of connective tissue between this and the Zacians and Mega Rayquaza is that they do literally do that thing that people expect of Ubers, which is that they outspeed and automatically destroy everything. Yep. 
Yep. You know, and that's, it, it, because Caloric Shadow is also really fast. Yep. It was actually the fastest quick ban, I think, in Uber's history. So it got quick banned, right? I think like day yeah. one, or wasn't even, it was like day one, Did day two, really? whatever. Yeah, and then they retested it. Yeah, even Mega Rayquaza took a week. That was yeah. because anything goes didn't exist, so you had to literally exactly. so argue had to for find the like, yeah, new tier. Exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. But that, that's and, still insane that it took one day, not yeah, even. Yeah, it was, it, it had to be, it was less than, I don't think it was even a full day went by, if I remember that's correctly. And then they retested it, they retested it. They retested it back in May when I believe Home came out. There's Home was coming out or whatever. So the end of May, right? So like home came out and then it ended up being same decision, right? Mon Gosh. ended up being officially banned uh, from that. But uh, oh, okay. Calaris was officially banned from Sor Scarlet and Violet Ubers. It took six hours and 18 minutes. That's how long it took for them. That's 18 minutes. That's pretty hilarious. It took them. That it's was, that and, and that was after, I'm sorry. That was after, uh, that was after the suspect test. That was literally suspect test results. We that got might it be the in fastest six hours, 18 ban minutes. in any tier ever. Yes, at, but that's after suspect results. So it got quick ban within about like a, a day and a half, whatever. But okay. the suspect results, enough people came up in six hours that it got that's, banned the same day the thread was there. That's actually, no, that's ridiculous. I mean, it's, it's, I guess uh, it's an easy way to illustrate to someone how, who doesn't really get how bands work. And the basic idea is there's nuance in competitive Pokemon, right? That's the, how the game is played or should be played. And with Pokemon like these, even in Uber, even by Uber standards, to go back to that whole thing, like, yeah, Mewtwo is crazy fast and strong, but you can't just spam Psy Strike or spam Psycho Boost Deoxys A and just destroy everything. And with these, they do literally just outrun everything and s smash their way through it. Even the way you were listing the Calyrex set, it's, oh, do I need coverage? No, I literally just need no, to make my clicked. stab stronger. 